Hi, my name is Lorenzo Nardi, and in this video, I'm going to talk about my recent work on long-term robot navigation in indoor environments, estimating patterns in traversability changes. Mobile robots are often employed in environments such as offices or hospitals, where the traversability changes continuously, affecting the trajectories along which a robot navigates. Traditional approaches deal with unforeseen obstacles by planning local deviations. However, such approaches have no memory. Therefore, when a robot encounters repetitive situations, it might execute every time the same suboptimal behavior. In indoor environments, many changes often happen by following repetitive patterns. For example, in an office, the office's door are open while people are working. Whereas, if the kitchen is open, it's likely that people are enjoying a coffee break and so that the office's doors are closed. When deployed for longer periods of time in such environments, a robot observes these patterns. In this work, we aim at using the robot observations to learn a model of the environment that captures the patterns and exploits them to predict the traversability at unknown regions. We then use the predictions to plan paths that reduce the risk to encounter blocked passages and lead the robot to navigate along shorter paths in the long run. We consider a robot that operates in environments where the traversability changes are correlated. The robot navigates on a topology where edges can be either free or blocked, and every time it navigates, the environment might be in a different configuration. The robot has no initial knowledge about the environment configuration, and we target here low dynamic and time-independent traversability changes. We aim at learning an environment model from the robot observations that captures the correlation among the edges requires no training data or prior knowledge, incorporates incrementally partial observations, and allows for making predictions on the edge traversability. To predict the edge traversability, we aim at estimating the probability of the unobserved edges to be traversable, conditioned on the partial observation of the current environment configuration. To estimate this probability, it is essential to know the joint distribution over all edges in the environment. However, Representing this distribution requires, in general, exponential space in the number of edges. Therefore, it becomes quickly intractable for real-world environments. There exist different approaches to compute a tractable approximation of the joint distribution. The simplest one is to consider all edges to be independent from each other. This is very efficient to compute and store, but is not able to capture the correlation among the edges. Another common approach is to use the Cho-Liu tree approximation that uses a tree structure Bayesian network to approximate the joint distribution. This approach is able to capture some correlation between the two variables and requires only quadratic space. However, it requires training data and offline computation. We propose to use instead an environment model defined by a factor graph that consists of one variable node for each edge of the topology, one unary factor node for each edge, and one binary factor node for each pair of edges. This representation approximates the joint distribution as the product of factors. It requires quadratic space and it's able to capture some correlation among the edges. We define the factor nodes from the marginal probability based on the fixed point of belief propagation. We incorporate the robot observations during navigation into our model by incrementally updating the factors. For example, if during a task the robot observed the state of edge A and B, we update the corresponding marginal probabilities and thus the associated factors. These updates are efficient and allow us to easily incorporate partial observations, as we update only the factors associated with the observed edges. Given our current model, we predict the traversability of unobserved edges by fixing the values of the observed edges and performing inference on the factor with belief propagation. In this way, we obtain the marginal probability of each edge to be traversable. Now that we have predictions on the edge traversability, we want to exploit this knowledge to plan paths that lead the robot to perform anticipatory behaviors that lead the robot to encountering a reduced number of block passages, and also to navigate along shorter paths in the long run. One effective approach to plan a graph in which the state of the edges is unknown is the upper confidence tree for the Canadian Traveler problem, or CTP-UCT. This approach performs a number of virtual runs called rollouts by sampling the environment configurations from the current belief. During the rollouts, it makes decisions that favor short paths and edges that have been visited less often. Then, it computes a plan by selecting the average shortest path experienced during the rollouts. Our problem presents two main differences to this setting. We have no initial knowledge about the environment and thus no prior probabilities. 
and also the robot is required to perform multiple tasks on the same environment. Therefore, we aim at leading the robot to navigate along short paths, but at the same time to collect information about the environment. To this end, we incorporate an exploration behavior into our system. We collect the information by maximizing the mutual information between the edges along the path and the unknown ones. However, we don't have direct access to the full joint distribution, and thus we approximate the mutual information with the pairwise mutual information between the edges, which can be directly obtained from our factor graph. Therefore, to select a path, we perform rollouts in the same way as CTP UCT, but then consider a cost function that trades off exploration and exploitation, where the path length powers short paths, and the mutual information powers exploration. Initially, when all a few observations are available, we favor exploratory behaviors to collect information. As the robot acquires information on the environment, the exploration behavior becomes less and less prominent. And finally, when the learning process of the model converge, we select paths similarly to CTP UCT. We implemented and tested our approach in different real-world indoor environments, where we simulated patterns in the reversibility changes. First, we evaluated the capabilities of our system to predict the edge traversability by comparing it with the full joint probability distribution and with assuming all variables to be independent from each other. First, we considered the case in which changes are highly correlated. Our approach provides good prediction already after a few observations. The predictions improve with the number of observations as for the full joint distribution. Instead, the independent variables model is not able to capture the correlation among the edges, and thus leads to worse predictions. In case the changes have low correlation, all the approaches provide similar performance. Thus, our approach behaves similarly to considering the full joint distribution and does not lead to worse performance than assuming independence among edges. In the second experiment, we evaluated the capability of our approach to exploit the predictions to lead the robot to navigate along shorter paths in the long run. We considered four different environments where we sampled different patterns of change. We evaluated our approach with respect to the theoretical optimal path and an optimistic shortest path policy, or SPO. The theoretical optimum can only be computed given perfect knowledge about the traversability, which is not available in reality. SPO doesn't take the predictions into account and assume all edges to be traversable unless the robot observes otherwise and replants. Initially, our system leads the robot to explicitly collect information, leading to longer paths to the goal. After 100 runs, it starts discovering patterns in the changes, the predictions improve, and our approach leads the robot to navigate along shorter paths. Over time, the learning process converts, and after 500 runs, the robot navigates along paths that are on average 30% shorter than following an optimistic shortest path policy. Finally, we compare our approach with other planning approaches. One is referred to as Determinized Shortest Path, or SPD. It makes a most likely assumption on the current belief and plans the shortest path in this configuration. The other one is the original CTP UCT. Both these approaches use our factor graph model for computing predictions, otherwise no comparison would be possible. The SPO reveals a constant trend over time as it doesn't take predictions into account. The SPD leads to shorter paths over time. However, the determinization of the belief is a strong assumption and might cause the robot to follow paths that are distant from the optimal ones. The CTP UCT takes the uncertainty of the predictions into account and leads to shorter paths over time. Our approach explicitly explores the environment in the initial runs, leading to longer travel distances but the collected information allows the robot to navigate along shorter paths in the long run, resulting in the best performance over time. This evaluation shows that, with our approach, we are able to compute better paths in the long run, leading to an improved navigation behavior. To sum up, we propose a new system for long-term robot navigation in indoor environments where changes happen following repetitive patterns. We achieve this by modeling these patterns from the robot observations. We use the model to predict the traversability at unknown locations and exploit the predictions to plan paths that lead the robot to navigate along shorter paths in the long run. Thank you for your attention.